Mm. How much money have you made from OnlyFans? Um, within the first three months, I made like ten thousand dollars or like eleven thousand. I've been in a situation where I was in Romania, my other country, when I was younger, and kids were calling me monkey. Yeah. It is true. Don't force yourself to be with someone mm -hmm. that you are not attracted to. Rather do what? Masturbate. Masturbate. Thank you, darling. <laughs> <laughs> Sister Derby, but today call me chef. When I cook this jollof for you, there'll be nothing left. Was this syrup? It's Sister Deborah, the African mermaid, and I've just been stripped by Sikaose. Can you put your clothes on the table? Cause it's time to stay it all. Tell a lie, no, you won't be able. Cause the night you tell it all. Cause I'm gonna strip you down. Strip you down. Cause I'm gonna strip you down. Strip you down. Okay. Sister Derby, <laughs> hi, the African mermaid. Mm -hmm. you, you have to do this, the African mermaid. The African Perfect. mermaid. Oh. Did I do well? You did it more than, <laughs> more than well. Gave it more vim. <laughs> well, welcome to Strift. Thank you. Which also means that today is going to be so much fun because I'm going to get to know you from the inside out, your guts, your intestines, You'll try. your left and right boob. <laughs> We're gonna find out everything. Because okay, I mean, let's see. I'm intrigued by you. Are you? Yes. And I've been That's intrigued nice. since Christ the King. Aww. Do you remember Christ the King? I do, I do. You were my senior by mm -hmm, one year. Mm -hmm. I actually had a love hate relationship with you then. Oh. I loved you, <laughs> but I hated you too. Because you guys, well, you and Indra, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you were like the mean girls. Oh. I think we're like the stuck up. <laughs> Someone the, said we, we looked stuck up. Yes, the beautiful models, because you used to model yes, in Christ the King. Model. We used to dance as well. You used to dance, you used yeah. to give us the wish, eh, eh, eh. And you were just obviously the id girls. Oh. Right? And you knew you were the id girls. Why are you so old? Did you not know? No, unless someone tells you, you can't just be claiming like but that. You I mean, we f I think we were very confident. You were overly confident girls. <laughs> <laughs> and we at the back would be like, <laughs> they are hot, but we don't like them. No, but they are pretty, but we don't like them. So it's we're so interesting. I've yeah. heard that before. So yeah. yeah. So knowing you from Christ the King mm -hmm. all the way to now, mm -hmm. it's interesting that we finally get to sit and actually talk. Yes. And yes. get to know each other. Yes. And which is why at this point, okay, I would ask you to put your right hand <laughs> on the strip Bible and repeat after me. Mm -hmm. I. Yes, Sis I, Sister Derby, Sister Derby, the African mermaid, the African mermaid, promise to tell the whole truth, promise to tell the whole truth, the naked truth, the naked truth, nothing but the truth, nothing but the truth, allow me to strip you of all your secrets, you are allowed to strip me of all my secrets, so help me, so help me, do you still, do you believe in God? I believe in a, um, a higher power, a higher power, okay, so which higher power are we believing in today? Today, the power over me and controlling me is Sikaose. Ah, love it. <laughs> and of course, some wine. Yes. <laughs> so please drink up. And I also swear to leave out some truths. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see. We'll do our best. We really will do our best. Please yes. mm -hmm. have some wine. Cheers. Have a sippy sippy. Yes, to a great mm -hmm. interview. Yes. And a great time with Sister Derby. Mm -hmm. How have you been? You don't cheers and not drink. Okay, let's do it again. Mm -hmm. Look into Because you know eyes. what they say. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> How have you been? Um, I think I've been okay. Mm. I've been fine. Yes. How's music <laughs> treating you? Um, music is not too bad. Yeah. I'm, I'm enjoying it still. Are you? It's all about enjoying. It's yes. been what, 10 years? Yes, about. Jeez. Or maybe more. Has Uncle it been Obama more? was 2012. Yes. Yes, but I think with my music is, um, since Uncle Obama, what I do is I release a single, like one single a year. And wow. then a video, you know. Why yeah. one single a year? Because now people are releasing like, what, four or five singles. Yes. You know, the videos are coming mm -hmm. back to back. Yeah, Is so it strategic to do one um, single a year? I won't say, I don't know if it's strategic, but it's just, I just always go with the flow and do what I feel like doing when I feel like doing because mm. I never really started out as a musician. I never even called myself a musician. What do you call yourself? I call myself an artist. Got you. Or an artist. Yes. Yes. And, um, if you you know you look at what I do, I do modeling, mm -hmm. I do a bit of acting, 
I do um, brand influencing, social media influencing, which I've always done. I've always done TV commercials. I've yes. always modeled. As I well. think you did your first ad when we were what, 10. Yes. Yes. Okay, the you were 10. I was about 11. Was it refreshed? Why are you sharing our ages like this? Why? Why are you doing this? No, 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 no. But they, they have to calculate. <laughs> we haven't said how old we are now, so it's fine. Yes, well, 10, you were 11. Were you in the refresh ad? I wasn't, but I uh, know you were there. Okay, okay. Maybe yes. we were or something. Yeah, so um, I've always done all these things. Mm. So music was always, you know, I mean, it became like a thing on the side. Okay. Which I decided to take seriously when... I felt like I had grown in it and I was learning. Yeah. So in 2012, I released Uncle Obama. Mm -hmm. I produced my first music video mm -hmm. with it. And then I think in 2013, I released another single, which I didn't really push. I didn't do the, um, the video. 2014, I released Bola, which yes. a lot of people loved. Mm -hmm. And that, then again, I produced the music video myself. It was co-directed by my brother, One Love. And um, Prince Dovlo was on you know, camera. And so it was like one single a year. And I think I also did Ghana Jollof in one year. But I think in the same year, I released Sampanana mm. together with Medical. Yes. I think it was that same year. I'm not too sure. Yeah. But no, prior no, to I that. Think, I think it was a different year. Ghana Jollof was 2015. So it was like a single a year. Yes. Mm -hmm. And that was just how you were, you know, Doing cool, it. collected, no pressure, yes. right? Yes. But prior to that, mm -hmm. you did some vocal, like back, like background vocals for some artists, didn't you? Um, well, for my brother, One okay, Love. Okay, for One Love. So I was, I was in the UK doing a master's degree from 2007 to about 2009 yes when i completed yeah and at and at that time one love would fly to the uk to do shows and at that time he didn't have a band that was in the uk or let's say his brand wasn't big enough to carry a band from ghana I see. so he would ask me to do backing vocals yeah did he pay you Oh no! <laughs> Maybe paid in kind, you know, pa paid in helping me with music direction and stuff like that. Okay, yes. okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. So one love was using the brotherly card, yes, to be able to of get course. to get some favors from you, yes. mm -hmm. and then music was literally a side gig. Yes, and then so you decided I'm, to take yeah. it seriously, but still, it wasn't like you know mm -hmm, mm -hmm. something that you were carrying on top of your head. Yes, it was, and it still isn't. Yeah, but it shouldn't be so. <laughs> right? Yeah, I mean, um, with the release of my EP mm -hmm. in 2020, the African Mermaid EP, if you listen to it or if anyone listens to it, you see that I've definitely grown in mm -hmm. music and mm -hmm. I understand it better. I understand how melodies work better, how to follow on the beat and yeah. stuff like that. So I'm trying to take it more seriously. Yes. Even though it's still not the only thing I do. So the thing about my brand is I'm very versatile, not only in my music style, but also in everything I do with my creativity. Yes. So I direct or co-direct music videos. I produ I've produced all my music videos myself. That's so crazy. when I say production, I handle making all the calls. I call the the actors, the mm. models, the extras. Do you style yourself? I style myself. I style everyone on sets. Mm. Um, what else do I do? Basically and everything. Is that, is that a budgetary thing? Because maybe you don't have the budget to get people to do it. Or is that a creative decision where you just want to do it yourself? Maybe you're OCD. Yeah. Yes. And you just want to make sure it's done the way you want it to be done. Yes, I won't say it's a budget thing at all. Mm. I, it's hard to find creative people on the same level to work with, even though there are a few. Like I love working with Darren, mm -hmm. Shim. Um, I love working with House of Payon. I love working with Steve Frenchy, who is yes. now in Italy. And um, it's just, I'm just the kind of person that works with what they have. Yeah. So it's not necessarily about budget. Okay. I mean, even though I pay for my own stuff, of course, I would like to economize because you, you don't really make much from YouTube. Hmm. You need to get millions and millions of streams. To be able to make some to, money. Yes. Yeah, so... Um, but at the end of the day, I'm someone who also doesn't like wastage. So I like to improvise. I like to use what is already there. Yeah. I like to reuse, recycle Got kind you. of thing. Yes. And um, I believe um, it's not about the price of like a table that's in the video. It's about how it looks, the design, the mm. color that you choose. It's all about the colors and how you arrange the stuff. Mm. So I just like to work in a very simple, minimalistic, but um, creative, Tiffany. colorful way. Okay. Yes, and I like to be in control of things. You know, um, it's nice to delegate, 
but it's hard to really find the right people all the time. Shots Honestly. fired. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Shots fired. We need more people in the industry that can yes. live up to Derby standard. Yes. So I'm taking it that music isn't really making money. Music is making money for me indirectly. Talk to me. Yes. So with the music ever since I started, it's helped with relevance, popularity, visibility. Mm. And through that, I get, you know, endorsement deals. Through that, I get appearance gigs and so on. Honestly, if I wasn't doing music, I don't think I'll be getting paid to come to this club, to this lounge, yeah. to make an appearance here, to come and talk here. So it's helping me indirectly. And we still have hope and vim that very soon will blow globally <laughs> yes but you've done glastonbury <laughs> you've done big you know big big platforms and stages that I some people haven't glastonbury, done yeah but um you see glastonbury has about um 13 stages or more mm. so we have the big stage yes for like when i was at glastonbury on the big stage we had laura i'm not sure of her name let me not get to remember laura mula also she's from congo i think She's an amazing musician. Like, okay. she sings with orchestra and stuff like that. Yeah. And then we also had, um, was it the Rolling Stones? Was it the Beatles? Wait. One of them. You were on the same stage no, with no, the Beatles? No, no, no. No, I was at Glassbury at the same time, but they were on the main stage. Oh, That's what okay. I'm saying. Okay. So, I would have just given you fun. <laughs> oh, you can still give me small fun. Small fun. Yes. <laughs> so I was called with the FOKN boys. Mm. You know, they do a lot of, people don't know, but they do a lot of music, um, which is very... Um, socially conscious, yes. environmentally conscious. So they were called by, um, oh gosh, I've forgotten all the names, the Green, the Greenfield. So there was a stage at Glastonbury in 2013 mm. put together by the Greenfields. They are all about solar energy, oh, re re renewable and So there was synergy energy. in what they were exactly. preaching and what, what those people were, were exactly. advocating Exactly, and then well. they saw that, oh, the FOKM boys had done a video with Sister Deborah. Who's the Sister Deborah? We love her, Uncle Obama's banana. We need her at Glastonbury. Mm. So, yeah, I mean, it is still a big deal because during that time I got interviews on BBC. Yeah, CNN. CNN, exactly. Yes. CNN International. A bit, a bit of controversy in there too. Yes. With it's Uncle a lot Obama. Of controversy. But it, it helped, didn't it? It, it? it always helped. There's nothing like helped. bad press. Do you mm -hmm. believe that? Yes, I believe that. There's okay. nothing like bad press. Yes. So, whatever life throws at you, just make something positive out of it. Okay. For example, when I went through the major public breakup and then I released Kakalika Love, mm. um, one love was like, oh, this is the time to release Kakalika Love. He wasn't in the country. I had already recorded Kakalika Love and put it down. Yes, but just waiting for the right moment to drop Waiting it. for the right moment. And then I was like, no, I don't want people to think I'm responding, going back and forth. Like, mm. I don't join people down there. Come on. Do you understand? Are you sure? Because <laughs> me, you go low, I go lower. <laughs> I mean, there's a way to do it. So he was like, no, you are a pop star. People are following your music. They want to know about your life. Yeah. Like, Jana, so I'm like, yeah, yeah, you're making sense. Adele made exactly. a whole album about her breakup. And made how know. many millions of dollars? Exactly. Which we made um, CDs and pests with. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, um, yeah, and then I released um, Kakalika Love. Mm. Yeah. And, I mean... Other people or someone would go through a bad breakup and be depressed and be sad and cry mm -hmm. about it, which a lot of people wanted to see me go through, trust me. Yeah. Sadly, a lot of women were angry that I was happy. I had a hit song. I was doing promotion on Instagram where I was giving out 1,000 Ghana CDs every week because we were sponsored by someone who loved the song and believed in the wow. brand, yes. And I saw and I heard fellow women were actually angry and but she's also insulting the guy eh. angry that i wasn't depressed lying in my room like you know as they say when life gives you lemons make, make lemonade. lemonade so that was like one of the best times do you get a lot of hate from women um yes not a lot yeah honestly the love is way more it's like 90 percent yes more. in fact the love is like 95 percent but what are they hating on um okay so most recently what are they hating on they are i don't know what they are hating on. are they hating because you look great that one we have for to your age because we're 25 ask, you know we have to <laughs> ask them we have to ask them what what are they hating on? okay so based on my own analysis mm. which i don't get angry at certain women or people for hating me because we've been brought up differently mm. like i wasn't brought up in a typical Ghanaian home or a typical let's say west african home yeah I had freedom to see what's on my mind. Mm. 
um, to go wherever I wanted at any time I wanted. Mm, dress the way you want. Exactly. Date I mean, who you want. I mean, my mom would pass her comments like, hey, won't you feel cold? <laughs> <laughs> like, she's Which a lovely person. Yes. You're showing too much. You're showing, oh, are you sure you won't be cold? I'm like, oh, no, this is fashion. <laughs> oh, I, I went to some place where I was freezing. <laughs> hmm. So I don't, I don't take it, like, too personal. Mm. But it's sad to see, like, fellow women hate on you. So I think the hating comes from the fact that I'm confident. Mm -hmm. I do what I want and I get away with it because they seem not to understand. It's strategic. I always think about what I put out there. Yes. Am I harming someone? Am yes. I insulting someone? Is it going to get me to jail? Mm. No. So you can say whatever you say. I'm, st I'm not in jail. Even though some people always put me in jail. <laughs> in jail. <laughs> wow. Yeah, so they hate or die. They don't understand. And as I was saying, more recently, because of um, my feature on Angel Maxine's song, mm. the LGBTQ song, people are angry. They say things like, oh, that's why he left you. You are a lesbian and things like that. So um, you are loving the, the feline. I'm loving it. It's, it's <laughs> flowing. Mm. You know, they don't understand. They say things like that. And I can't blame them because when I was younger growing up, I also didn't understand certain things. Yes. It's now that, you know, talking to queer people, learning, reading, observing, that I'm also understanding Sunday. them. And I say to people, you don't have to be a refugee to embrace refugees. Mm. And, and then for people who don't understand, I mean, it takes some time to embrace. Mm. It's, it's very similar, being you know, homophobic, it's very similar to um, our past, not even our past, current racist, just hating black people. It's not our fault that we were born black. Mm. You understand? So it's that kind of hate. It's like, you have to put yourself in someone's shoes. Like, they were born like that, and then you are hating them. What are they supposed to do? Upon learning and reading, also reading a lot of African history, I have an uncle who's a Pan-Africanist. He actually founded Black History Month in the UK. When he saw that I was supporting the LGBTQ community, he's a Ghanaian. He sent me um, papers that like, people with PhDs and stuff have written on this kind of okay. stuff, you know, to give me more vim to understand. And mm. I also share it to queer friends for them to have confidence and understand themselves so that when they are being bashed because of religion and misunderstanding yeah. and stuff like that, they have the confidence because you, ha you have to just put yourself in their shoes. Yes. Someone can just be hating you because you are dark skinned. I've been in a situation where I was in Romania, my other country, when I was younger and Kids were calling me monkey. What are you supposed to do? And it's Gosh. because of the skin color. Because it's different. Yes. You get what I'm saying? Yes. So you have to put yourself in these people's shoes. And Same thing I went through when I lived in India. Ah. Because, you, you know, there they have the caste system. Exactly. And they have, literally at the bottom of the caste system, are the yes. people who are the untouchables. They are called yes. the untouchables mm. because they are dark skin. Yes. And these are people who are darker than us. So. Yes. But they still call me a monkey when I'm walking on the street. Yes, you see, so how is a queer person supposed to feel? Because that's how they were born. Yeah. Yes. So and two questions with that before yes, you continue. Sure, sure. So number one, yeah. you're a supporter, not necessarily I'm part. I'm an ally. An ally, yes. not necessarily part of the community. Yes. Right? Mm -hmm. So you, you're not in the community, you're just an ally. I'm an ally, okay. yes. Okay, all yes. right. Mm -hmm. And number two, because I know your, your dad's a pastor. Yes. And your family, your mom and dad are very creepy. No, no, my mom is not. Okay, so yes. it's your dad? Yes. Okay. Does he okay. still always have, like, comments when he sees that, you know, you're advocating for certain things or mm. doing certain things within a, in the public space? Okay, so, um, actually, he hasn't commented on me supporting the queer community, the mm. LGBTQ community. He hasn't commented on that. Mm. Um, he hasn't... The only thing he commented on was Uncle Obama. And then I said to him... If a six-year-old listened to that song, they wouldn't think the way you are thinking. Mm. So get your mind out of the gutter. <laughs> and then he laughed, like, hey, 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 hey. you know, that yeah. kind of thing. Uh -huh. So, um, no, 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 he doesn't, you know, he's fine. My dad mm. is a very cool, calm person who understands. And growing up for like 20 years of my life, he wasn't creepy. Yes, he wasn't creepy. As for my mom, since I was a kid, my mom told everybody she's not religious. Got you. And also, I, did, I didn't understand her. Mm. I was like, hey, mama, why are you saying that? Hey, don't say that. Mm. When people come to the gay, like Jehovah Witness, no, 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 I'm not religious. I'm not religious. Go, go, go. 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 But then I heard her recently telling some friends in Romania who are very religious. You know, Romania is um, dominantly um, Orthodox, Greek Orthodox, okay. before Catholic. 
there are a lot of orthodox people and she was like her parents were also not religious so my mom doesn't believe in god mm. yes so your upbringing is completely different it's from different a typical Ghanaian exactly upbringing. or a typical west african <clears throat> upbringing so even though my mom was not religious she didn't stop us from going to a catholic school yes. from going to mass she didn't stop she supported me when i had to do the baptism the communion she knows that oh it's just formalities my mom is the most open-minded person practical logical mm. like person ever yeah. she's an economist yeah so she's all about facts numbers signs mm. education that so kind she, of so thing. was she cool with the only fans page Oh, yes. Do you know I'm the only person that didn't know you had an OnlyFans page? <laughs> no, no, no. I, didn't have, I, I forgot to have an OnlyFans page. I haven't been posting. <laughs> Thanks for the free promo. <laughs> Search Sister Derby on OnlyFans. Touched my pearls. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, she has an OnlyFans. I have to see it. Yeah. And then obviously I went there. You have to subscribe. You have to pay big hey, money. You paid. You paid big money. You paid. Please, I don't have the kind of money you're charging. <laughs> <Okay>. Oh, <is> <laughs> I have to charge that because mm. you don't know who's going to go on there and take your content and, you know, let me not give people ideas. Yes. So, let me tell you about OnlyFans. Please tell so, me. I'm ready. Yeah, in 2020, COVID time, when everybody was at home, mm. I was hearing of this OnlyFans, OnlyFans. And honestly, I thought it was a porn site. So I never searched it. I never opened. The little that I would see was like pornographic. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. So I never, you know, and then I also heard that you needed to have like American citizenship or like a foreign, you know, um, is it social security number and all that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. So I didn't venture at all. Then 2021, I think, I was on Twitter and I saw some girl has posted she had bought some high rise apartment, hey, penthouse or something. Based on OnlyFans? Yes. I'm in the wrong business. I was like, I need to look into <laughs> this. I need to look into this. So I managed to sign up and then I started small, small. I mean, I've been on and off because, mm. yeah, I'm not really, I don't really have time. You really have to have time for it. like To produce the content. To produce the content. So what kind of content is Sister oh, Derby putting I on OnlyFans? I'm only not going fans? to say because when people ask me, I need to let people go and subscribe. I can't give it out. You okay. need to pay. You, you get what I'm saying? You need to do you what? You need to pay. To pay. <laughs> you need to pay Pai Pai. And, um... Honestly, the coins I've made on there, my mom has really benefited. And I said, yeah. oh, you gave me this body wow. now. Oh, yes. Mommy is benefiting yeah, from OnlyFans. So I love my it. My OnlyFans money, most of it has gone to my mom. Because at the end of the day, she gave me this body that I'm using to collect the money. How much money have you made from OnlyFans? Um, Give us a, a ballpark figure. You wanted to come and tax me. Oh, it's true. <laughs> oh, but I'm paying, I'm paying foreign tax, so it's VAT fine. is watching. Um, okay, so let me just say, within the first three months, I made like $10,000 or like 11000 yeah so part of the money went for my mom's teeth fixing her plane tickets and then fast forward i still have some savings where i know touch them mm. sweetheart you need to go on there girl show me the way married or not your husband crush should be videoing you okay <laughs> me i spoke to my boyfriend about it too i'm like please help me with the videos he said yes yeah, sometimes i let him choose the pictures so your boyfriend is you know managing the situation and not fully when i ask him for his opinion which picture should go first you say oh this one because i'm wow. not you know it's very classy it is very classy yes i do know that when you first came out with it you were advertising heavily <laughs> yeah, on snapchat on snapchat <laughs> <laughs> do i need to add you on snap are you on my snap or you see me in explore i've been seeing you in explore okay, okay. And you were giving us a bit of, you know, mm. thong action, mm. giving us, I was like, yes. madame. I have to make the boys happy now. Mm. Ghana is, and the girls. Ghana is hot, Kakura. <laughs> and some girls, yes. Do you get a lot of girls actually approaching you in a sexual way? Um, a few. Mm. I got some really hot ones. Is and I was it? like, yeah, hey, Charlie, if I was a lesbian, wow, I'd be so lucky. Wow. Like, nice, creative intelligent hot people and they are pretty these mm -hmm. these girls they're very yeah. beautiful yeah so, so you've never been tempted oh no 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 you see mm. once you are not you are not mm. you see the thing about being gay it's not all about sex people yes. just brand it with sex like someone is working and there's sex on their face yeah no. it's not like that so um you you have to have feelings like i admire women like, you are so beautiful. I will say that I will enjoy looking at your picture. But I don't mm. have feelings. Oh, I thought you were saying I was beautiful. No, you are. I was saying that. You made my heart. No, I was saying that about <laughs> you. You are very beautiful. Oh, thank you so much, darling. Way. So, but there's no feelings. Yeah. You see, there's that's no, what like, that's what people don't understand. Mm. Like, a friend of mine came out to one of her parents. Like, this is how she came out. 
and she asked her father, when you saw mom, um, how did you know like you liked her or whatever? He was like, oh, I had feelings for her. She was like, that's the same way about me. It's feelings. Yeah. It's a natural phenomenon that you can't control. Hmm. Yes, yes. So I don't have feelings for the same sex. sex uh -huh. yeah. But if you are gay, if you are queer, you would have feelings for the same sex yeah. or even opposite. I don't know, but it's, it's, it, it, there's it, different it's types fluid. of people. It's very fluid. Yeah, the, the thing is that we have different types of human beings. Yes. But of course, because of the way the stories were written, you know, in religion, we are just conditioned and tuned to one exactly. way. But yeah. um, if queer people didn't exist at the beginning of time, how come people at the beginning of, the, of time wrote about it? Mm. And I think uh, one of the Atta Edus, one of the writers said, um, Look, okay, are you going to give us some history? Yes. Drop some history. Let yeah. them know. <laughs> <laughs> the terms existed before the colonial masters came to our shores. Mm. We had the terms in our, in our language. Yes. Kujo yes. Barberima. Yes. So, it's been here. If you are saying it's a Western thing, how come we had it in our own exactly. language? And biblically before? is also there. Exactly. Yes. So, no one is asking you to change or to switch or go and do that. Yes. Just... Let them be and just, um, yeah, just let them be. Yeah, it's like you see a black person and you are white, and then let's say you are racist and you are just angry at them and they haven't done mm. anything to you, they haven't come to steal your money, they haven't slapped you, they haven't, yeah. you know, yeah, yeah. So that's just my because you never message. know what your pastor can be, what LGBTQ, LGBTQ. your daughter can be LGBTQ, <laughs> exactly. Yes, yeah. oh, damn, <laughs> are you a sexual person? Um, I don't know. Mm. I, I'm not sure. I think I'm come see, come sir. Balance. Sometimes you're into it. Sometimes you're not. Yeah. Do you have okay. sexual kinks and fantasies? No. You don't? <laughs> Even if I do, we're not talking about it here, my dear. Oh, but why? I'm getting to know you from the inside no, my out. my mom kind of web and joy web and all those things all but the time. But your mom is also enjoying money from OnlyFans. We <laughs> should be okay. But I don't do that stuff. Well... <laughs> Well, 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 you gotta pay. Yeah, but she's not gonna watch that. <laughs> huh? Do you have fantasies? Fantasies. Mm -hmm. Actually, no, I'm very simple and normal. Simple, yeah? Yeah. So, regardless of the outwardly extravagance and the, you know, sometimes I'm like, oh, she's very, you know, sexual because she wears all these stuff. I'm sure people mm -hmm. think about that. Really, okay, behind so closed doors, it's I plain mean, old I'm, not, I'm definitely not a boring person in mm. bed. Okay. Yes, but I'm not, I don't know, I don't like think about sex or, I'm, I'm not the type of person that we see a guy with like six packs and, and I'm like, ooh, I've, I've never been that type. Really? Yeah. Maybe in high school, but I've never been that type of person. One pack? No, 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 I don't look at that. <laughs> I'm because about, the one part people out there are saying maybe they have a chance. I'm about, no, no, no. I'm about personality, gotcha. honestly. Mm. Yes. I don't know. It might be, it might sound boring. Yeah. But I'm very much about the personality. Like if you are there and licking your lips, hey, I'll run away. I don't like that thing. Cry. Like we're all going to be sharing mirror. Well, I'll be my mascara to be waiting to do gloss. No, no, no. You don't want that yes, kind of I don't guy. like vain guys yes. who are like, yeah, their lips. And yeah. Nah, nah. It puts me off. Seriously. But you give me dominatrix vibes. Mm. Yes. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> that you, do. Thing I can do. you do maybe it's because i mean i know that you're very assertive mm -hmm. i know that you are i mean i think one love once said that you were very stubborn <laughs> that's what he's been saying don't mind him <laughs> you're very stubborn or maybe because it seems like your preference in men are younger guys so you like to be in control oh no 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 it's far from that so mm. the thing about me is um I never approach any guy. Okay. I've never approached any guys. The younger guys, it's younger guys that approach me most of the time. time. I hardly have older men approaching me. Really? Yes. So one time a friend of mine teased me. She was like, Deborah, you look 12. Why would they approach you? Do you get what I'm saying? Yes. And once when I was 23 and I was in university, I dated a guy who was 26, but he looked a bit older because he was okay. wearing glasses. Okay. And I don't know. I don't know. He just looked a bit older. Mm. But he was 26, I was 23. And uh, we were in the mall, in the parking lot of a mall in America. And some guy was walking up saying, hey, yo, can I talk to your daughter? Can I talk to your daughter? <laughs> so imagine I go out looking with an older guy. They'll say, is this your small sister or your sister? <laughs> but no, I don't go 
chasing. Yeah, when people say, hey, you like younger guys. No, it's younger guys that approach me, one. And I feel, and I think I'm also not attracted to older, older guys. Yes, yes. definitely. Because you like to have fun. I don't know what it is. Mm. Yeah, maybe. I do like to have fun. I like to be silly. Yeah. I like to fool around. I like, in fact, it's true. Mm. Yes. And they give you the freedom to Today, do that. Someone was like, oh, leave me to meditate. I can't hear you. Ask for this. And you do with this. So I like fooling a lot. Yes. Yeah. I like yeah. playing. Yeah. So but maybe that's why. How's it going, though, the relationship? You good? Are you talking marriage? Are we talking kids? You said my wedding pictures was, was nice. Your wedding pictures. So. Guys, Sikao says wedding pictures. Hmm. <laughs> Go and watch it well. Mm. If you like copy the same thing, I'm mm. advising you. Mm. That's Copying classy. is allowed. Yeah, classy. Listen, Vogue, Vogue magazine, they were shaking. Shaking. Vogue Italia, Vogue Spain, Rops, Vogue Rops, Rops. Arabia, everywhere shaking. No, seriously. So seriously. did it give you like some, some wedding butterflies in your stomach? Um, not necessarily. I mean, um, I've never been the type of person that is like wanting marry. I'm, I've thought about it. So the thing about me is, if I'm in a relationship, I can think about it. Yeah. If I'm not, I don't crave for it okay. or I don't want it. I have this joke, this thing where I say, and it's because I thought about, you know, people trolling me, Diane, you go and marry. You know how they say you should be married before you are 30? Oh, gosh. Did we I not hear it them, all the time? I tell them, I'm over 30, so that means the time has passed. Pastor. So they should leave me. <laughs> <laughs> it's too late, right? Why are they still asking me? Oh, my me? goodness. Yes, yeah, so... Um, I'm not someone who wants to rush into marriage because from my small analysis, I feel like marriage is like any relationship. Okay. You have to, you are collecting free advice. Yes. I will collect money. <laughs> um, it's like any relationship, anything can happen. However, of course, for someone to ask you for your hand, they have to have thought about it thoroughly mm -hmm. too. They have had to dis have discussed it with the person. Mm -hmm. You guys would obviously see that you are compatible, you get along, you understand each Chaga. other, you are ready to compromise, yes. you know. So, um, but at the end of the day, anything can happen. Mm. So, I'm not like rushing or eager. Love it. Mm -hmm. So wise, Deborah. <laughs> so full of wisdom. Honestly, laying gems on us like never before. In fact, mm -hmm. there's actually a quote that you you said a caption okay. that you put on um, one of your OnlyFans posts, hey. which is so wise, so full of, it's, it's changed my life, honestly. On OnlyFans posts. Please, can Sika, I read it? you're obsessed with this OnlyFans, so <laughs> Can I read, read it? it? Read it. Hey. Hmm. It is better to masturbate <laughs> than to sleep with someone you don't like. <laughs> okay. By Deborah. So this quote. So wise. Changed my life. <laughs> So this quote was influenced by my girl, Nuti Fafa. Shout out to Nuti Fafa, who's Hi, Nuti very Fafa. shy. <laughs> and if she watches this, she'll be like blushing. Mm. And so I remember some time ago, um, um, you know, um, the African mermaid was in the mood. Is it? <laughs> and then she advised me, because I didn't really like the person that was mm. going to be. She advised me that, Debbie, me, when I'm in that mood and I don't like, I'll rather done good and i took that advice very seriously yes i took that advice it's so very it serious. is true yeah. it is true don't force yourself to be with someone mm -hmm. that you are not attracted to rather do what masturbate, masturbate. thank you darling <laughs> <laughs> love it i'm so shy right now you don't even know that's and why that's it was, it was supposed to be on only fans <laughs> not here i love gosh because it's time to stay it all Tell a lie, no, you won't be able